Welcome to Down in the Old Vault, a Thief Gold fan mission by Vegetables. Uh, it doesn't have a briefing, so I'm going to have to read it out. I caught word that a nobleman named Lord Coldwell has been looking for a bank to store a large amount of gold. Some well-placed inquiries have led me to believe that the bank he settled on is the Mossgate Bank, located in one of the more remote districts of the city. The bank is run by a nobleman named Fitzgerald, whose family has apparently been running the bank for a very long time. Despite its age, the bank is pretty small, so the security shouldn't be too tough to crack. I should also try to steal some keys for the deposit boxes in the bank vault from the other residents of the district. They're bound to have some good stuff in them. Doesn't sound too hard. Break to a bank, steal everything we can, and get back out again. What could go wrong? Uh, let's just review these. Okay, it's only uh, three, four, five deposit box keys and 1600, 1600 or 2000 loot. Doesn't actually suggest there's no normal don't kill anyone objective on expert. But I'm going to stick on hard because I'll use as many deposit box keys as I need. I don't know how many there are to be found. So it's at least five, so presumably more than five. But I probably don't want to be hunting all over the uh, mission if I'm missing some. So I probably want to you know, pick up as many as I can, force them to be reasonable. Same with the loot goal, I don't know how much loot there is, but uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time hunting to meet a loot objective. We want to, we're interested in the big score, not the, not the small change. Bring into Fitzgerald's manor and steal the key to his office. Get into, his, get into Fitzgerald's office in the bank and find the whole combination. Find a way to disable a silent alarm on the vault. Get into the vault and steal Lord Caldwell's gold. Don't let the guards trigger the alarm. Optional. Well, if I let them trigger the alarm, then uh, I guess I have more guards and trouble to deal with. Find and use at least four deposit box keys, steal an additional 1600 loot, and leave the area the way you came in once your other objectives are complete. Great. Oh, we have a shop. Start off with five rope arrows, it's remarkably generous. Instructions, my notes on how to break into the bank vault. That sounds useful. A um, couple of moss arrows. Now, I don't know if there's anything like the bank in Thief 2, which had tile floors everywhere, but moss arrows could be surprisingly useful. We have a thousand to spend. We have a sewer map. Sewer work will sell you a partial map of the sewers under the district. Yeah, let's grab that. I like maps, so even if it's not gonna be, you know, necessary for the mission, I just like maps. Uh, art commission. An acquaintance will sell you a commission he has to steal some paintings in the Mosgate district. Cost 150. Mm. Yeah, sure. Leaving me with 700. If I grab my usual healing potion of flash bomb, we're down to 250. Water arrow cash. Associate will leave a cache of water arrows in the area for you to pick up. Cost 200. Presumably, there's more than four water arrows, or I'm wasting money, but then I don't know how trustworthy this associate is. Let's go for it. I like, I like interesting store items as well. More moss arrows. Now, I wanted more moss arrows, but I'm kind of running out of money now. So, you know what? I don't tend to use moss arrows really nearly I only use, tend to use them when it's particularly important and definitely much more if I'm trying to be e extra stealthy. I should get another water arrow and jump in. Alright, let's check our instructions first off, although we're not going to get to the bank vault for a little while, we're going to get to the bank first, but uh, let's just see what this set tells us. First, I'll have to get into Fitzgerald's office in the bank. The key to the office will probably be with Fitzgerald and his manor north of the bank. Once I get into the office, I should be able to find a book containing the vault code. I won't be able to unlock the vault while the silence alarm is active. To disable it, I'll need to pull three levers within the bank. Two are behind the telecounters, and one is in the head of security's office. The levers are timed, so once I pull one, I'll only have about a minute to pull the others. Only about a minute, that's, uh, that's going to be tight. I should try to make sure none of the guards activate the alarm, but if they do, I'll have to find a way to deactivate it before I can do anything. Okay. So it doesn't sound too deadly if they, if they do set off the alarm. Found keys. Oh, that's interesting. 
the this is going to note down the safety deposit box keys I find I guess that's really cool uh, good use of new darts uh, variable driven book and text decal stuff but one other thing worth noting about this mission is this uh, also uses my sound my ambient sound scripting that I built for uh, making a profit. So, I, mean, I don't know the details, I haven't really dug it, I only took a really quick look at the script here, but uh, there'll be uh, multiple overlaid sounds per region. Mostly, I think he's just using it as a more convenient way of setting up the sounds, but there is some state changes as well relating to the mission. Ah, and the sewer map we got. I didn't actually check the main map, but let's check the sewer map first. Where we start here... Alright, that's gonna have... Yeah, let's put the sewers on the end. Alright, so here's... Oh, this is an awesome map, I love it. Start here. The bank is in the middle and the manor is adjoining. That's great, so we can rob probably pretty much everyone here. We're definitely Bronson, Randolph, and Nichols, and Wilson, right? Uh, this is the... We've got a full map of his manor. Very nice. And a map of the bank. Basement, first floor, second floor. And the sewers. Oh, the sewers are going to give us access to both the bank and his job. Now that's, that's pretty good. I would have thought the bank would have it uh, kind of closed off, but it's not. What arrow cache? Arrows will be in an alley to the southeast, under a transformer box in front of the old factory. So we have the old factory marked here on the map. Down here, so that's a long way away. But I guess we probably won't need them until we get inside the bank. Alright. Oh, the art commission. One more thing to read. If your travels take you to the Mosquet district, there are some paintings in the area that I would be very interested in purchasing. The Fleeing of Marseilles. Last seen displayed in Fitzgerald Manor, 75 gold. Margaret of Oldale, portrait of the daughter of a past baron, currently being displayed in the Mosquet Bank's gallery, 75 gold. The intruder, also in the possession of the bank, but likely not displayed prominently. Little real value, but I know of a collector who will buy it, 50 gold. Comparisons, last seen displayed in Bronson Manor, 75 gold. Portrait of a noblewoman, believed to be in the possession of Lord Randolph, 75 gold. The abduction of Rebecca, recently reported stolen, so it'll be hard to sell if you happen to locate it. 50 gold. Alright, so that sounds like the uh, the commission is not giving us extra objectives, but it's giving us extra loot opportunities. I like that. I don't know, what's this starting point? Got an extra room. Ah, oh, it's okay. That's pretty much just where we exit. Alright. Before I run into the light, there's a guard coming, so let's just wait for him to come by. And do my usual start a mission save. Well, these streets don't seem too uh, heavily patrolled. Let's let's head south, follow this guard, and try and find those water arrows and maybe some uh, buildings along the way. Looks like I can hear someone to my left, but I can't see. Yeah, am I hearing somebody inside the bank, perhaps? Oh, he's just turned around to the back. I wasn't really watching him when I ran to this alley, so... Did that shadow move? Which shadow? I don't see any shadows. Seems clear enough now. Good, good. There we are, nice darker spot. Right, so far... It seems like the city is not going to be mostly open to us, just a little bit open. That's alright. You? you keep thinking you've seen me, you really don't. Look, I, do I have to hypnotize you? Oh, he's coming back. I thought he turned around. You don't have like a purse or anything on you? Oh, these cheap guards. They all the money on drinks and
Oh, hello, he's just standing there, is he? Oh no. Just for a moment. I hope he doesn't turn around too quickly because I don't have any shadows to run into. Oh, hello. It's a shot with a nice glass window, but it looks like I probably can't break it. Is this the abandoned factory? No, we're uh, just down here, just past Randolph's. Okay. So this is Randall's place, the pawn, pawn shop. So does that suggest I should be able to get in there, but, ah. Oh. Well, the guard's coming back, so now is not the time to answer that question. Turns around on the, under just past that light. No, oh, he continues on down the street. All right, that's, that's good for me. Huh. So we can well pass Randolph without any obvious way of getting in. Maybe I'm blind and there was like an open window and I didn't see it. But if I just check out the art commission again, I thought Randolph was one of the ones on here. Yeah. Lord Randolph. Well, maybe we have to get in the front, not the back. I guess this is kind of a back alley. Probably explains all the patrols and stuff. What's that? Who goes? Oh, nobody, nobody goes. I thought I was going. I thought I goes, but then I stops. Seems clear. Is pretty uh, closed up on the on the rear. But I do like these. Uh, the streets are pretty well lit, but there's patches of darkness here and there. Sufficient, and they're very wide, which is good. It gives me lots of room to dodge the guards. Seriously, people have too much money. They just throw it away into fountains. Not that I'm really complaining, my dear. It's good for me when when they do so. Hello. See that statue? That's a keeper glyph. I wonder what that means. I'm gonna have to try uh, see if I can interact with that. See if I remember my old keeper tricks. Very long time ago. I heard something faintly. Maybe that's just the sound. Ambient sound. Hmm. Can't see anything changed. I should have gone earlier, but uh, maybe I need maybe maybe I need something uh, to use with it rather than just from it. That's probably the case. But that's worth a note. There's a glyph. Let's not forget that. Let's try and see if we can make use of it before we leave the city. Is 
Is that guy coming or going? Going, I hope. Going. Going, but zigzagging a little. Alright, we're getting near the old abandoned factory. Where did it say the uh, Arakash was? In the southeast, near the factory. Under a transformer box in the front of it, okay. Aha. That'll be the transformer. Underneath that, how are you. <coughs> Where's that other guard I'm hearing? Maybe up in the window there. So I'm just gonna go on down the street. That's good for me. What I see there. Maybe it's not that trans. Maybe it's this transformer box. Ah, yes. Nine total. Now, how I don't remember how many I started with. So I don't know if that was a good uh, result or a bad result. Is this does this open? Sounds like it might open. I mean, it looks suspicious. I do wonder, you know, if I should really do that kind of. Clear kind of engine exploit. I mean, small exploit. Information gathering. Does this thing. Can this thing possibly move? It's also possible. Oh, what's that? It is possible for uh, mission authors to prevent it if they care. Just, just make it so there's no sound. Like. So you can't tell it apart from terrain, but it's, it does mean you have to be paying attention to it. But it's such a good trick to finding out whether whether things are likely to be secret doors or not. And, you know, that's half the fun. It's not knowing... Not so much knowing that, you know, how to open a secret door. I mean, no, figuring out how, figuring out how, what am I trying to say? Figuring out how to open a secret door is the fun part, right? Knowing that there's a secret door is just the clue that says, hey, there's something, there's something here, there's some loot hidden here, or there's a secret entrance here, or something you're probably going to want to check out. So secret doors, usually, you know, unless there's other context for them, you should usually try to make them, uh, quite visible and not very secret. Just to let you know that there's something fishy. Alright, let's check back upstairs. <laughs> and maybe we can't open it now, maybe there is more context we need to know, but uh, so this is all bricked up and that does not open, as far as I can tell. So like any open windows I could rope to. There's lots of smashed windows. But none that seem open. Alright. Let's make a note. There's a. Is there a door there? Question mark. It might be the factory. The sewers are going to get us to the factory, actually. The sewer access is this way. Well, presumably the sewer access isn't up these stairs, but let's. We do have a bunch of uh, buildings we want to break into. Presumably that's the sewer access. Yeah. Okay. Where's this guy? He's right there. So he's not going to see me here, even if he walks into me. Because he's still level zero. He is not. Seen or heard a thing all night. Who goes there? Well, he's seen or heard nothing to get him excited. Alright, 
can't see from here where he patrols down these stairs or looks into this room. I mean, he looks into the room from that window, right? Someone there? Why would you think someone would be here? Rats. There's something I can never remember. Is the uh, hotkeys for uh, lockpicks and things changed between Thief 1 and 2, and I never remember which one I'm dealing with. I should really, you know, just set up the hotkeys in a way that will suit me and be consistent about it, because, you know, that would be sensible. But if I suddenly throw a flash bomb at a door, you'll know I've just been hit the V2 hockey instead of the V4 one hockey. Moscow sewer station area. Alright, let's not go in there just yet. Um, I will want to go in there. Yeah, I didn't see where the scout was going. Well, he's going away. What about his friend? His friend doesn't seem to be nearby. I didn't see where his friend was. It might have been up above or something. Alright, um... I kind of feel like I'm going away from where I want to go. Let's let's scout out this alley. And then we'll come down here and start trying to get into these buildings from the front. Yeah, make it sound like I've got a plan instead of that I'm just wandering the streets randomly, because... We all know the truth of the matter, of course. Wandering the streets randomly, pretending like there's a plan. Do you have a purse? None of you have purses. None of you have any money. You should carry money on you. How else are you gonna, like, stop and gamble a few coins with your fellow soldiers just, you know, to make a break from the tedium of patrolling these streets? More importantly, how am I gonna get enough money to survive. I thought I saw something on the windowsill, but no. How am I gonna get enough money to survive if you guys don't carry the money for me to steal? Oh, hello. That's useful to know. There's a mansion up there. I would not have looked up to see the window if I had not heard that guard noise. Open the door. That's very kind of him. Feels like a major's kind of place. Potted plant. I don't think I want a buttered plant. Yeah, so guard going in circles, or just going in and out. Just gonna wait a few minutes to see if I can hear footsteps or any indication. Okay, he's going around in circles. Good. It's much easier that way. Yeah, so my perfection damage got hit you too, but my thoughts exactly. What have we got here? The City Dragoon, 11-11-33. Mossgate Bank thwarts heist. The Baron's police report that two thieves snuck into the Mossgate Bank several nights ago, but were thwarted by the bank's guards. The police did not enter the bank, but were told when they arrived that the heisters were dead. Fitzgerald, the bank's manager, declined to comment. <sighs> Nothing on your bookshelf. No, no secret books in your bookshelf. Not this bookshelf, okay. I mean, come on guys, you gotta have some... You gotta have some valuables for me somewhere, that's a nice little bonsai. Right now all I've seen is, uh... Oh, here we go. It's a newspaper, I didn't break into your... Into your house to read the newspaper, that's ridiculous. Limited time because the guard is coming. Of 
Good enough. Just good enough. All right. I don't think he comes out here. Oh, I see. I could have. I could have come in this way. Oh, look at these. Look at these beautiful. Oh, noisy. Look at these beautiful flying buttresses. You know what? Let's forget our alley explorations. Let's. I've got a rope to pick up. Let's make a note of that. Although, I have lots of them. I might not need to collect it, but if I want to collect it, I'll have to go back. I've got, what, four left? Yeah. It's a bit sloppy to leave it behind, but, uh... Hello, who is this? This is... Unnamed. I don't know who owns it. But they leave their windows open. <laughs> And they have, well, they've got candles. Presumably they've got uh, valuables. They've got guards, so they must have something that's worth stealing. I wonder if they have some of the paintings that we need to take. Alright, let's watch and wait for this guy as well, see if he's... Well, unless it's not. Let's observe. He seems to be circling, right? Invoice for banking inspection. 130 supplies, 600 labor, 1,000 damages. 1730 total to be paid to DNR Inspection Agency. chance to, to break in there. Something move there. Wow, there's lots of guards in this. Lots of guards in this place, more than I expected. All right. So he's gonna walk up the hall and back again, I guess. Hopefully quickly there, but that's alright. He's allowed to do that. Alright, this is the one I was picking the lock off. Let's... So we've got a downstairs as well. What was that? I've seen something. If you come near me, I'm gonna have to. Ah! Look! Oh. Guards! Guards! Oh Over shit! Here. I want this man. <laughs> shit! 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 Oh, this is not good. You know what? I thought I knocked him on the head, but uh, he did not react. Take that. Let's just sit up here and see what happens, shall we? I guess I could get out the other door, but he's probably gonna bring a mess of guards. Or not. Maybe it's maybe the guards just told him he was worrying about nothing. Still seems agitated. Let's give him a minute. Who knows, maybe the guards are just exceptionally lazy. Oh, this now would not be a good time to get down off my rope. Don't, you don't spend enough time in Thief up on top of 
ropes looking down uh, because you get stuck when you try to. That's going to be bad. Um, can I get down? Now I'm going to have to jump onto the carpet. Okay. I'm going to have to jump onto the carpet. That would have been a perfect time to do so, but now it's moved away. All right, let's do it now. Uh, <laughs> tried. <laughs> I've got Fitzgerald's office key. Is this Fitzgerald? I thought this was a completely different building. Alright, so we have upstairs to key, so... I guess we're in the master bedroom. Um, that's the bathroom. So we came in to the study. Alright, looking at the city map, I thought I got into this building, but I guess it was this one I came into. Sorry for Cyril, I didn't want to have to knock you out. In fact, I guess I didn't need to knock you out there. I could have just uh, been quick and quiet. Let's get my right back there. Let's, uh, mantle on the mantle and uh, collect it. Any else of value? So his office key was in that chest and I tried to pick his pocket and accidentally highlighted the chest. Dearest Lady C, like I've told you plenty of times before, I have no interest in joining your little cult, and no promise of wine or time in your bedchambers will make me change my mind. My family hasn't been involved with your silly religion for generations, and I wish we'd never had been. I suggest you cease bothering me, or I will be forced to take more drastic measures. You wouldn't want your activities to be made known to the local Amorites, would you? Warmest regards, Lord Fitzgerald. Very warm regards. Okay, so he has... <laughs> Open window here, but uh, from which I guess that's the courtyard of the bank. Nice, very fancy place. All right, Lord Fitzgerald, I'm just going to leave you sleeping on your bed. I suppose it means if any guards do come in here, they're likely to see you. But you know what? I don't think they're going to come in here. All right, so then let's check the map now. This is going to take us back to the hallway where that guard patrols. So I need to be careful. Going through here. Wait, what's the key I got? I think it's just... Oh, I've got a key ring. It doesn't open his office key. I'm not sure... I'm not sure if I like key rings missions or not. It's, uh... Oh yes, I recognise this bathroom. Alright, let's check out the bathroom a little more carefully. Did I check the bathroom already? Alright, I did. Alright, we've checked out the bathroom sufficiently. And this is where we came in. Okay. In the study. That goes out to the hallway. So he comes back. That's... The stairs. Um, so that door was also locked, right? So I want to unlock that one. So the guard patrols up and down here, then comes around here. Which, if I was sitting there, I'd have good access actually. If I go through the master bedroom again, we'll give me more time. More time to pick this lock. Oh, well, or not. Wait. Oh, that one wasn't locked. Just had another guard, of course. A nice banner there. It would be a shame. Well, mm -hmm. it would be a shame if something were to happen to it because it might alert some guards that wander past. That would not be the best thing for me. So we're here. So this guy's probably wanders in and, in and around upstairs. Let's go to the guest rooms. Let's see if this guy also patrols in a circle like his friends. Looks like he also patrols. Hello? Is someone there? No. Not. No, 
I don't know if he... Okay, he goes into the guest room so he doesn't come out here. So many guards in here, this guy... Well, I guess he runs a bank. I was gonna say, this guy must be rich to afford so many guards. He runs a bank, of course he's rich. But I'm very glad he has an aesthetic preference for uh, <laughs> floors that are not made of noisy material. You say many things about the mobility, but... Uh, Going now. Is he coming around here? Oh, okay, he's going in to where I need to be. I, I need to go in there, so I guess I'll wait for him to come back out. I hope he turns, hope he turns left, not right. Who's there? It's a <laughs> Alright, I can hear another guard, but it's him down below, that's alright. Alright, so this would be another another way out, which is west, okay? A window there. Where would that take us? If we come out the west, we could get across to Bronson's. That would be worth doing. Now, I just realized, apart from that one painting I saw in the study, I've not been paying any attention to whether there are any other paintings in this house that might be valuable <laughs> and worth removing from their uh, hangings. That's locked and it's going to need a key, and I don't think I have the key for it. Alright, what's the best way downstairs? <sighs> wow, we've got some carpet down there. We've got some shadow down there, too. It does look like this might be a decent way down. If I put the rope on this side, we should be in shadow at the top of it. If not at the bottom of it. Oh, he's the one upstairs I'm hearing. Okay. There's more paintings. Keep an eye out for paintings, guys. Let's check our map so I know what I'm dealing with here. So, we're in the gallery. Three rooms, I guess this guy's controlling all of them. There's probably more in the central room, possibly guarding the way of the bank. Um, I guess I guess while I'm here I should finish robbing his house, right? There's no point. No point going. I'll take that. So that's nicely done. Uh, it's a different model in the inventory than it was on the wall. That's one of the paintings we needed, not that one. Oh, hang on, I'm confused here. Where? Oh yeah, we're in the central hall, so we can see we do want to go check out this room. So he's going into off to the gallery. Potted plants, a couple of banners. I don't think these are actual real banners. Maybe, maybe they are. Oh no, somebody's vandalized the place. I want to actually see what the, how the guard reacts to that, so I'm just going to sit here for a moment.
So you know I'm not ghosting this because of course I'm vandalizing the banners. This is why I can never be a proper ghoster. Because all banners must die. Well, it's blimey. Another guard. <clears throat> well, he seems to be entirely unconcerned with the property of destruction. It's actually good for me. Okay, I think another guard is just coming in the room. No? Alright, it's nice and dark here. All quiet now. Must have been rats. Oh, there's one on the stairs. It's really upstairs. Alright, that must be the house keys. I wonder if that's going to get us into the guest room. Uh, remember this guest room is locked, so I'm going to need a key here. And I wasn't paying attention to the guard who was on this floor to see where he was going. Well, that is south. Okay, that's the bank entrance. Bank entrance isn't gonna get me that key, sorry. The key isn't gonna get me to the bank, that's fine. I wasn't really thinking it would. <coughs> this is a oh it's a double It's not quite a helix, but uh Unlocked with mana front door key. Answer. Okay, he's getting there. Let's check out this door. Um, be on the, on the alert for more guards. And more loot, but uh, hello. I'll take that. Um, hmm, how dark is it here? Not dark enough. Let's just keep moving because I don't know. We're gonna encounter more patrolling nuisances. No gold candles on your table. Better fancy throne, all right. I shouldn't think the guard comes into the kitchen, but you never know. Oh, gold in your sink, that's all right. Stairs for the uh, servants. Oh, healing potion, that's nice. Alright, we're in the kitchen. We haven't checked out the sitting room yet. Uh, yes, the guard does come into the. She's more out of the way. things on top of the mantelpiece here. I wonder if there's a second one. Nope. So he goes right round the place, okay. Did that shadow move? What do you think? Alright, neither of those seem valuable. Okay, so he comes all the way into this staircase even. Bedroom again. Okay, so I know where I am. So I think I need to check if that key works for the. For the guest room. 
is what I'm saying. This guy's patrol route is kind of strange and annoying. Oh, stay in the shadows, Garrett. Just because you're leaning out doesn't mean you should suddenly pop out into the light. That's very unprofessional. If I remember correctly, he uh, will go straight out, so I might be able to just duck in behind him here. Who's there? Is someone there? Alright. Where's my keys? Nope, it doesn't work. Okay. Well, you know what? We haven't checked the basement yet. Um, so make a note. Oh, let's make a note. A bigger note here. We need a key for that room. Uh, so let's go out this window here. I think I've checked every other room of the house. Yeah. Cool. Let's go towards Bronson's, I think it was. I wonder how much light there is up on these ledges. Hopefully not too much. Wouldn't, it would suck to be spotted by a guard on the streets below. Alright, if we go immediately west, that will get us to Bronson's balcony. Get anywhere else from here. Oh, hang on. There's someone in the guest room. Nothing there now. Yeah, these guys do. They are pretty sharp. Someone's in the guest room, but they left the window open. And the key is there. But how's that supposed to? I can see the key. Can't get it. That's that's very frustrating. All right. Well, what I see there. It's the wind. <laughs> Who's creeping around there? You just saw the wind, and now you heard me. Uh, I'll find you. Well, that was a mistake, but one I'll have to live with. All right. I don't like Mr. Bronson half as much as Mr. Oh, Fitzgerald. Well. Must have nothing. Because he's got bright rooms with uh, tile floors, both both very bad things, and guards with sharp swords, also bad things. Nobody's there. God, he had to be coming back, didn't he? Well, I'm not gonna knock him out unless I have to, but I will be ready. I, he shouldn't notice me here. I should be alright. Is there someone else in that room? <coughs> Sounded like it. Someone else comes in here to make it more awkward. Uh, I wonder if one of those is the bending I need to steal. And the other, here comes the other one. Oh, I hadn't shut the door properly, that's why I could hear him. See me there, man. Ah. 
healing potion in uh, Fitzgerald's kitchen. Aha, uh -huh, that one looks good. Let's grab that. Well, look on the bright side. I'm wasting one hour is cleaning up my own mess. Wouldn't want them to be able to, you know, get my DNA. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely wasting one hour. There's absolutely no need for me to do that, but I thought that was fun to do. Uh, I hope I won't regret those two. On the plus side, we've got fewer guards in here now, so, you know, to worry about. Is this a bedroom or what? Maybe I can put them up here and make them look like they were... Oh, it's an office. Deposit box key 24, alright. Bertha, have you heard the news? Old William is starting a greenhouse. Ha! <laughs> what do you say we pay him a visit in a bit? I bet you my month's profits that inc incompetent fool won't manage to grow a single herblet. Even if you will, poking fun at old Billy should be an amusing experience either way. Lord B. Hazardous. So where does he come? I hope he doesn't come in here. I wonder if there's anything up on the rafter. Well, it's metal, so I can't really check. All right. Is that the same guard we saw in here? Yes, probably, by the looks of it. Let's see where he goes. You better not come too close. My blackjack is thirsty tonight. <coughs> no, I shouldn't have too much time when he goes out there, but probably enough to grab that uh, cup and slash the banner and get into the shadows. comes back and you pop around behind into his uh, little hallway and hope there's some shadows to hide in there too. Ever the optimist, Garrett. It is carpet, right? Yeah, we can climb up quite quietly. Meanwhile, you can stay stand here and uh, Look at the statues. Ugh. But it's not quiet. Not quiet floor. All right, uh, he comes in here, because we saw him from those other, patrol past his windows. He's going to be coming in soon. Do you want to check out more of the room? I just want to double check. I want to be sure of where he goes when he comes in because I've already messed up my uh, exploration through bits of uh, rash attempts at hiding. So let's make sure we don't have another 
accident. <laughs> Looks like we should be alright. Oh, we still need to be quiet. Because sound will travel in this place. Oh, hello. Oh, those are good. I wonder if those are going to give me any kind of healing. Careful, Garrett. Quietness. on the sword hilts. Very nice. Alright, that is north. So we just came into... We're in Bronson's, right? Aren't we? Is so, so north across the alleyways? Or another building here? I guess it's worth checking. Now, let's just double check the art commission. Flame must say it's in displayed in Fitzgerald Manor. Yes, we got that one. Uh, we haven't been to the bank. So there's two in the bank. Comparisons in Bronson's Manor, we just picked that one up. We haven't been into Randolph's, and I don't know where the abduction of Rebecca would have been abducted to. So I guess we can find that out in a little while. I'm just waiting for the guard to come in and out again, because I want to check out the windows. There's uh, window box is accessible out there and it might be the case that there's another window we could get into. I don't know. It's worth, it, worth at least a peek. Are you talking about people up above me like like me? Because I'm kind of up above you. I mean, you're definitely beneath me in all the ways that matter. So these. Oh, he's got a garden. Okay. I'm leaving ropes behind everywhere, you know. Any other moss in the garden? I will. Moss arrows will be quite appreciated. One is not too bad. All right, so that could take us out of here. Well, but I don't think I need to come in that way. Yes, we could be seen by a guard there if we're not careful, or by, obviously by the one who comes in here, but uh, we were able to hear him. Ah! Oh also be able to uh, regret our choice of rope placement. Yeah, nobody. Let's eat our food and drink our potions. So, I left a rope in Fitzgerald's too, right? Yeah. It was somewhere getting downstairs. Up here? Well, it was overlooking the front door, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'll just make a note. I'll just make a note here. Mostly because I want to collect it when we get, come back, but uh. Alright, he's not gonna see me now. You know what? I 
painting we're interested in, are you? What books we're interested in? Too low to mantle, too slightly too high to run onto easily. Garrett's physics kind of being a nuisance, but uh, luckily that clang onto the tiles did not get hurt by anyone, so we're in the clear. Oh, so I guess I get out. Well, do I want to get out onto the street, or do I want to go back to Fitzgerald's? Uh, let's check where the street entrance takes us. takes us north. It should be alright to go out on the street then. Let's hope I can do this without dying this time. Good. The only problem is this guard coming back and forth on this street and it's very brightly lit so he will spot us if he sees us picking the lock. Coming, I think, but that looks like we don't need to pick the lock. Do you think there's anyone there? I should have shut that gun up behind me. Why? I'm not supreme ghosting, am I? But it still feels like, you know, the, the whole no first alerts rule in supreme ghost is not for someone with my patience, especially when streaming when I have about a third as much patience as normal. But I do like the idea of putting everything back the way you left it feels like it appeals to my sense of Garrett's professional pride. <laughs> oh, it is dark enough here for a surprise he didn't see me. I'm gonna wait for him to go by. Here instead. Sneak it behind him. Oh, we can we can pick it from this side. We could have picked a lock. Good to know. Good to know. <clears throat> I was wondering about that. Was there only one way in? But nope. It, well, let's get out as well. <laughs> Maybe I should have just closed him. I think I could have robbed him. Alright, so I said I wanted to come up here, but we kind of went the long way around. Um, yeah, let's finish exploring this northern back street. I'm definitely keeping an eye on the streets above. Well, and the streets below, because there's guards. He's not looking this way. windows on those beams. Oh, he patrols a very long way. Now oh, he's turning around and coming back, okay. Time for another sip of coffees.
Uh, also, let's go collect our rope. Oh wait, if I collect our rope, if I collect the rope, I won't be able to get back down again safely, will I? Um, I should probably come along this street. How many ropes do I have left? Oh, I've still got three, that's fine. So next goal is the street, but um, I think it's a pretty good place to end the episode. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you here soon for the next episode.